me and like six of my boys, we got like slammed at a bat mitzvah, which is crazy. I remember like things were festive, things were happening. I ended up making out with this girl, Mackenzie Beatrice, oh, that had been like on yeah. and off with yeah. under the table, like at people's feet. Fuck we're like yeah. making out. Everything is quiet. And I was like, yo, turn the music back on. Like, let's get this party going. <laughs> Moment of silence for the recently deceased grandmother. No. <laughs> They're doing this like candle lighting ceremony. <laughs> and then a shit faced child going, let's go. <laughs> let's get re <laughs> it. Yeah, literally. I thought the grandmother had just died and you didn't know that because you were underneath the table <laughs> making out with this chick. <laughs> she was dead in the They're place. Like, she died there. And everyone was like, <gasps> let's get some music. <laughs> you pick Gam Gam up and start dancing Weekend with her. Weekend at Bernie's. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tipped the DJ 50 cents. I'm like, yo, slow jams only. Like, <laughs> yeah. Gam Gam's last dance. Welcome to Tummy Time. Welcome to Tummy Time. Welcome to Tummy Time. I'm Neil. I'm Justin. That's Art in the Booth. Hey, guys. Today's guest is a stand-up comedian in Austin, Texas. He runs a show called Secret Level Comedy. He has a podcast called Slam Time Live. It's Nat Rogachevsky. That's right. I do want to mention that you're the first Jewish person on the podcast. Really? The first of many. Okay. Well, I will say. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a one and done. Let's see I, how. I mean, let's see how. Yeah, let's see how you might report yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, seriously. You might report back and that could hold sway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or maybe you you hate this. Yeah, yeah I go, man. you know what? We're never going to have one of those on. Oh, no. Yeah. no. Not again, dude. I get it. <laughs> never again. I have that effect on people. <laughs> Once bitten, twice <laughs> shy. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, shame, yeah, shame on me, dude. Yeah. Uh, no, that's fine. Where, where'd you, uh, where'd you grow? You Are you from like Boston? Yeah, yeah, oh, just cool. outside of Boston, yeah. Wait, where, what's the place called? It's called Newton, Hershey? Massachusetts. Newton. Mm. Yeah. That's where Louis's from. Like the Fig Newton. Or Louis, Louis Rogan. Burr? No, no. Oh, uh, wow. Louis, Rogan, and, uh, Joey from Friends. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> no, that's a different Joey. Joey. And <laughs> and John Krasinski from The Office and all that stuff. Yeah, and BJ Novak. from the the and Novak. Nat Rogachevsky. Novak. Yeah, and, and Nat Rogachevsky. Yeah. Soon that's going to be up amongst. Oh yeah, hey, yeah. yeah. Who's Louis? I've heard of Nat though. Yeah, I've yeah. Heard of Nat. Nathaniel. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, yeah. dude. How did you guess? It's either Nathan or Nathaniel, but that's true. Well, yeah. Nathaniel seems more like probably like like Jewish or something, right? Yeah. My buddy's ex girlfriend. I. Because I get, like, Matt all the time. Mm -hmm. and people mispronounce my first name as often as they do my last name. Yeah. And I met my buddy's ex-girlfriend. I try to make it easy for her. So I go, hey, my name is Nat, like Nathaniel. And she goes, Nat doesn't sound anything like Nathaniel. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, who's your fucking girl? Who is this chick? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, can you I, not bring hey, her around does she anymore? Suck good dick, dude? And then okay. she really, I'm for real, go, I used to do this in a bit. She goes, you should go by Neil. And I was like, what? And she goes, like Nathaniel. <laughs> that's not the, That's not it, though. It's not bad. It's not that bad. It's not It was bad. one of the funniest things I've heard, like, in the wild. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like someone Absolutely. not trying to be funny. Right. It was one of the funniest. It was it crazy. It is hilarious. Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. Also, nobody that's... asks you if that's short for anything, if you say, my name's Neil. Right. He was named yeah. after Neil. No, not Neil, Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond, not Young. Yeah. The, the less cool Neil. I got cool. a friend named after Neil Young. Neil Diamond's plenty cool. <laughs> Neil Diamond made more money than Neil Young. <laughs> no, he did. Yes, he did. He was less. He, he was less. I would wager. Yeah. Yeah, he had a residency as well. More people liked him too. Neil Young seems kind of like a crank. Yeah, you can't he's bring a, Neil Young to a wedding. No, he's not fun at weddings. No. He's Neil Young. Yeah. yeah. He's like trying the to talk about. Why would to go? So good, so good. To any fucking thing Neil Young's done. No. no. And that's a big Boston thing too, is Sweet yeah. Caroline. That's Fenway. I Boston. think that's just America, mm -hmm. buddy. Yeah. You think so? I mean, you do that from where, where I'm from in Beaumont, Texas, dude. They yeah. they're all going ba 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 everybody yeah, everybody. yeah, yeah once yeah, you hear yeah, the yeah. Doo -doo -doo, your dick gets hard dude <laughs> it's true it's Stop very it. patriotic yeah. it <laughs> should be switched to the nat the national there anthem sucks change.org so <laughs> slash new national anthem <laughs> <Sweet> Carolina. <laughs> Now, the now, I do Chesky. think there's something to be said to changing the national anthem to a song that people just like. Absolutely. You know what you I mean? You want to be liked. Imagine it going on in the fucking Olympics. Dun, dun, dun. I would oh, go freakier, shit. though. I would change it to oh. Lola by the Kinks. Shit. That's what I would Lola. do. Lola. Yeah. Dude, speaking That's of, what I'm into. Speaking of music, dude, you're a deadhead, right? Yeah. Wow. The dude. reason I know is because I was sitting in kick butt like uh, about a month ago. And like, I think it. I think it <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was. <laughs> yes. Hey, maybe uh, you brought a friend. <laughs> no, it's at an open mic. I'm not bringing a fucking friend. Um, <laughs> We're but, all friends here. <laughs> but but Nat's sitting over there, like working on jokes or something, and like the uh, the barista plays like a 
uh, like a dead song or something. And, yeah. And that, was Jerry Garcia band. Oh, no, no big deal. <laughs> oh shit! Get your fucking. I don't want to quibble, straight. but uh, <laughs> yeah. And he, and uh, and Nat, I'm like across the, the room, and he's like so overjoyed that I'm I can hear him talking about how much he loves the dead. So. Yeah. Oh. What's that about, dude? <laughs> what's the, <laughs> what the hell? What the hell yeah, is? Where'd about? you get the love for the dead? Well, so I actually was more into. <laughs> <laughs> like the corny say I'll ever say out loud. But before this is way before getting sober and before I liked the dead, I was into like the community. Because it was a place oh, I could do drugs. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not only was it accepted, but I was like encouraged. A hero. Right. Well, because you brought them? Oh, I brought them, I sold them, I did them. Yeah. I spread the love. Yeah, and they yeah. were all like, oh, we're making the world a better oh, place. Love You're like, I'm getting and fucked up. Sex, yeah, man. I'm in a K-hole. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I literally yeah, think I'm a car love, right now. <laughs> like, Grateful Dead good for the K-hole? Yeah, everything's, <laughs> everything's good for the K-hole. Everything's good in the K-hole. Everything's better in the, the K-hole. K-hole. It's, it's not so much that this affects the K vibe. The K affects the this vibe. All vibes. <laughs> so, yeah. How it really works. But. <laughs> Uh, no, I was just down with going to music festivals because I could make a bunch of money at them and p- everybody was nice and like mm-hmm. I wasn't like the degenerate there. Yeah. Um, and then I like slowly but surely just got into the dead heavy. Oh, cool. And uh, I, I do like their, their tunes and shit. I like them sober, which is That's weird. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> But, is there is there a sober part of the dead community? I'm sure there is, right? Yeah, they have their own like meetings and stuff. Oh, okay. Wow, so, yeah. so like people that might... It's Grateful Dead but two A's on Grateful. <laughs> that's pretty good not bad <laughs> not bad at also, all also grateful is a big word in, in the uh, recovery so great it's already it's there all, it's an it's attitude there, of gratitude baby go, attitude baby. of gratitude yeah they're called the war frats which is named after it's a song a dead song about just like a, a drunk beach bum yeah and uh they set up their little stand where you go to during the intermission of shows and everybody gets together oh that's cool yeah it's it's sort of cool <laughs> do they have Jerry Garcia's ashes? What do yeah. You... Well, he was a vicious heroin addict. That people never yeah. talk about that. Yeah. Did he get Did he get clean or sober? No. No. He partied till the day he died. Uh, well, rock on, dude. Yeah, big time. <laughs> it yeah. is pretty rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, it is very rock and roll. Yeah. So, and have you gotten into the uh, the fish, and then even the Dave wow. Matthews and all that? Jesus. I think Dave Matthews might be the most digestible of the lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've got a larger mass appeal. Oh, maybe Dave not. is a cutie. Yeah, Dave's cool and like the no. He said he's cute. Dave, yeah. yeah, he's a cutie. Yeah, cute, is he cute? cool, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, different, uh, different. Uh, I think he's for cool the record and cute. different. I think he's cool and cute. But anyways, yeah. what were you saying about I'm a, Dave? I'm Matt? a sapiosexual. If you're if you're smart and cool enough, mm, you're, you're cute. cute. Fun, yeah, yeah, you get it. <laughs> that's one thing. Yeah, we brought you on because we wanted you. We needed a representation of the sapiosexual community. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah, one of the things we wanted. First Jew, first sapiosexual. We're breaking yeah. barriers, dude. Yeah. You guys say something smart. Who knows what happens? My God, I'll get a boner. I'll get a fucking boner. Say I'll something you. smart, yeah. you might get fucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tummy time is going to take on a whole nother oh meaning. Oh, my God. <laughs> leave, leave it on the tummy time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, Dave, I think, is like kind of more big in like the, the pop world, and I, I like fish stuff. Uh, I The one band I ended up talking about with that guy was the Disco Biscuits, which is truly a band I, I you can't know about listen them, to yeah. sober. Okay. <laughs> they just suck ass. I think that means they suck ass. <laughs> no, they rip. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they rip too hard if for... you're ripped. Okay. Uh, it's one of those things where I think my brain's adjusted that when I go to the live show, I, I'll still have a really good time sober. But yeah. I, I like, there's not a single track that I would listen to driving in the car. Whereas yeah, okay. there's a whole catalog of dead that I'd enjoy. Yeah. Because they're like folk, Americana, like da da da, just some good rock. I've listened to some dead and I've never been like offended by it. He's never oh, been grateful this is ple- for it, this, Yeah. No, I haven't been too great. Mm-hmm. I haven't been very grateful. More like for the it. resentful dead. Oh, uh, <laughs> the begrudging well, no, no. dead. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said this is pleasant Yeah, music. the aloof dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The neutral yeah. dead. Yeah, I'm more like the uh, disinterested The dead. standoffish dead. <laughs> yeah. Devil I'm more may like, care dead. I'm more like Switzerland when it comes oh, yeah. to the dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you can be dead, you can do dead, whatever. Hey. Yeah, six million dead, that's not my problem. Oh my God, we're talking numbers? That's Justin's favorite number, actually. <laughs> he says it's a rounding error. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's uh, no. In fact, it's the opposite. It's the uh, I have like well, you know, I grew up Southern Baptist. Okay, yeah. you heard of these people? Um, they, <laughs> I, every week. Week. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up Southern Baptist, and it's like the weirdest thing. Growing up, I. They have like this weird like reverence for Jewish people. Mm. Like they talk about them. They say that they're, they're the chosen people. Yeah. There's and so like everyone's kind of where I was like very fascinated with, with with like Jewish people growing up and also with comedy. Like all the people mm-hmm. that that I looked up to were Jewish. And uh, but you're the, you work at a law firm. 
No oh, Jews here. Wow. We know we have had Jewish Jewish lawyers right. at some point, but uh, okay. none through. currently. So none staffed. <laughs> but, gotcha. But uh, but, but uh, not opposed to it. Not right. opposed to it. We don't have we don't have a policy uh, that forbids it. Yeah, yeah. No, but like growing up, and it was so weird because they were like, "Look, we love Jewish people. Jesus was a Jew. They are going to hell, but we do respect them." Yeah. It was it was like the weirdest thing. But um, ever since then. Uh, well, anyways, do you think it's bad to tell, like, because I've, like, went on dates with Jewish girls, and I, like, mm-hmm. will give this spiel about how much I love Jews. Do you think that's bad? No. <laughs> to just say, I love Jews. It like, depends. That's how he opens. Yeah. It depends, because I like a prideful Jew. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm a prideful Jew, yes. and I like prideful Jews. Sure. And if she is one of those, then you're in there. But if she's, like, a modern Jap, Jew, uh-huh. Jewish American yeah. princess, who's just, like, kind of like a New York Jew. Yeah. yeah. The like the like anti-Israel Jews. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they go. She won't like it. Self hating. Yeah, because she. Well, we say so, oh, yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. dude. Wow. I don't like that, dude. Yeah. That's fucking anti. You gotta love yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We gotta stop that out. Yeah, yeah. 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 These are these uppity. Oh, anyways. Um, <laughs> 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 you know what? This is also the first time we've said Jap, but it's different. Right. It's different. Yeah, okay? yeah, he said it first, so now we can say it a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's also so funny. It's a Jewish American princess, but it's also so funny to be like, not like that. Different kind of offensive. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it offensive to uh, to these like these women? Not in my opinion. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, in my opinion, are there Jewish women that would like to be called a, like a Jap? Um. I understand what, how there's a negative connotation because part of it means you you're know, a fucking spoiled, princess, yes. affluent, and da da da. Well, there's nothing wrong with being affluent Hell by definition, yeah. but um, you know there's like a degree of entitlement and spoiled nature yeah. that I think would come. But that's what they are. Yeah, you know? I mean that's Sorry. The, where that term comes from. Pot. If she's not that, she wouldn't be a Jap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah we exactly. wouldn't be talking about it right be now. Some Jew. Exactly. <laughs> you just be walking on the street, Jew yeah. as hell. Do you think <laughs> just a day walk? I bet they would prefer. <laughs> I bet they would prefer to be a Jap than some Jew, though, right? If you gave them the option. Yeah, it depends on not it called it, but not see, here's the thing: as. is they want all the spoils of right. what that definition entails, but not to be called it. Right? Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's fucked. Yeah, it's I called- agree. It's you want your cake. You want your cake. You want your. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't a What's wait, wait, person? Mox, no, uh, pa- uh, potato. Uh, you Kugel? want your no the uh, the, the the potato Kanish? pancake. Latke. You want your latke, latke and to eat, eat it, it too. too. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, would yeah, know better well. than Bobka would have been the right yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a cake? That's more of a cake? Yeah, it's like a pastry. It's like a chocolate layered pastry, oh kind of croissanty but thicker. Very good. Hell yeah. Dude. Like a really baklava? Good. Uh, it's less flaky, flaky than yeah. a baka. It's bready. It's okay. really bready, but layered like a. I'm into actually, it. Trader Joe's makes a killer. Okay, one. I was about hey, to ask. Trader is, Joe's, there a, TJ's. Is, is there a Jewish mm-hmm. bakery here? Mm-mm. Trader there Joe's. Isn't. Yeah, Trader <laughs> Joe's is the closest. Yeah. Uh, are there, yeah, are there that any? Would be, that'd, be, use, that'd be day Trader Joe's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does use kosher salt. <laughs> there you go, dude. Big, is, big. <laughs> is there is there a, like a um, Jewish deli here though? Yeah, there's a couple that call themselves like Jewish delis oh, and stuff. Oh fuck, dude. Call them out, dude. <laughs> yeah, they're like in the nature of, you know. Okay. I mean, they're the but... spirit of being Jewish. Yeah, yeah. What's that place in LA in um in Fairfax? Have you ever been to LA? It's, yeah, uh, I know what you're talking car- about. No, uh, car- uh, car- 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 I know Carver- it's Cats. No, Cats? Cat- no not- there is Cats. Cat- Cats, it's on, on, Cats is on never closes. It's not Carter's. I know exactly what you're talking Damn. about. A couple of my Sorry. buddies were just yeah. there. Yeah, but yeah. I, Cats is never closes. And from what I've heard, that place is like okay. It's more the institution that right. you enjoy. Yeah, being in. and I've just heard so much about it. Like, there's been all these like stories about comedians mm-hmm. hanging out there, and shit. yeah, Larry David, they shoot in there and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, dude. They, it would be David. nice to have a Jewish deli. More difficult to find here is the bagel shop. That's like it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's just a bunch of fucked up bro. bagels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, it's funny you say that. Einstein, Jew. Hey, <laughs> I've, I've heard. Funny you mention. <laughs> yeah, nice name job, bro. Guess what? Yeah. Jew. <laughs> In Oppenheimer, they just make him like a cartoon character. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. I'm Einstein. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he just shows up off screen like. Hey, it's crazy. He does look like way too much like Einstein in a way. Like the way he looks, he looks like a caricature, but he looks exactly like Einstein. It's more like Einstein. Because Einstein himself was like this character. He looks more like Einstein than Einstein looks like Einstein is what you're saying. Yeah. I found a quote by Oppenheimer. He was like, it's crazy because hanging out with him, he's like, he's like, he's, he's so childlike in reality. He's like the world's smartest baby is like. Oh, that's how he is. Who he is. Yeah, yeah. He's like, like the kid. He's like. He'll stop talking about some theory and go like run around. Mm-hmm. That's fun. I shit my pants. He's yeah. probably he's probably a lot more fun. I'm Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> e equals MC. 
<laughs> I bet he was a lot more fun at parties than Oppenheimer was. That oh, fucking yeah, wet just rag. Yeah, dour bitch. <laughs> yeah, that fucking pouty ass. Yes. Shut the fuck Shut the up. Yeah. When, when, uh, the in that movie, nugget. when, uh, oh, oh sure yeah. Dude, sure dude, just like an yeah. emo bitch. Become yeah. death in my box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill this. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Dude, Drop that, the bomb in up. The, <laughs> on, who's the pre- who did uh, Gary Oldman play? What president? Truman? Uh, Truman, yeah. When Truman just like fucking cucks him at the end of the end of that movie, I was like, I was like, hell yeah, Truman. That was so righteous. I love that scene, dude. Uh, <laughs> anyways, you know, well, you know, Oppenheimer's fine, but it was fun to see him get uh, get fucking trashed. By, shit on, uh, shit yeah. on by Truman. Well, he got dunked on by Truman, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, that's maybe we shouldn't talk about dropping the bombs in the same episode that we say. Jewish American princess. Though. Yeah, those princesses. Oh, you know? yeah. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't funny, but I was kidding. Uh, <laughs> it's something that... <laughs> uh, dude, oh, yeah. So, speaking of... Uh, well, uh, sorry. Canters. Can- canters, yes. Uh, they they have a uh, roast beef that mm. I've had there. Um, anyways. Oh, shit. <laughs> You've had a roast beef Don't that even bring up. Oh, One thing that God. makes this Jewish deli special... It's roast beef. They have a roast beef. Yeah, 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 exactly. If you're looking for a roast beef, a Reuben as well. <laughs> <laughs> they got pastrami in this bitch. My God, what? <laughs> <laughs> a cured meat? <laughs> well, uh, so you did, you grew up in Newton. Mm-hmm. How so. long were you uh, were you out there? I mean, I I moved a lot growing okay. up, so I was in that part of Massachusetts my whole life. So all the that town and all the surrounding towns I lived in at some point Medford? before I turned. I never lived in Medford, but I knew a lot of annoying women from Medford. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and I met them in AA. And if you can deduce who you are, you stink. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. Like, legitimately <laughs> stink. stink. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. like pussy wow. stink? My yeah, dad. their soul. Yeah. But, oh, so. okay. They're just not a good person. <laughs> yeah. Your soul is smelly yeah. like your box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just be, being... Oh, yeah. Was Is Medford, like, a, a shitty place? No, it's actually quite a... Uh, it's it's a perfect suburb in that it's still wicked towny, whereas oh, my, wicked. my town is not. Like, the neighborhood I grew in within my town is still towny. There's still Boston accents. It's still relatively middle class, whereas the whole rest of the town that I grew up in is just burbs, so it's been washed outside of, like, any real influence of, like, a Massachusetts. Did you get rid of your accent? I had wicked. One? Yeah, I say wicked. I say mad, and like every now and then, when I'm excited, it'll come out. When I was drinking, yeah, it yeah, would yeah. really come out. Where you like, I just fought it. Yeah, all <laughs> that, and I can do it decently. But Medford is perfect because it's like not really rough, but still very Boston. Yeah, okay. yeah. So Boston be, accessible. Yeah, yeah. It's nice if you really want to taste. You can live there. It's like getting a little yuppified as is most of the greater boston area but it's still very bostonian less stabby i've never even yeah. been i need to go I, very I, italian i need boston. to go dude yeah, boston, boston i love boston boston great um great town so we like to talk about like embarrassing stories a lot from the childhood mm. and teenage years um some people talk about shit in their pants some people talk about learning how to queef on command mm. uh, what are some other things that people have talked about <laughs> guys talk about that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well actually yeah i did have a friend that could fart on command yeah you ever that, know one of these guys ooh. that could suck hair, air into his ass how about suck their own dick <laughs> yeah <laughs> sucking your own dick about, hear about that one <laughs> i don't know which suck is greater here i think i'd rather <laughs> fart honestly yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's uh, you, you you like can do that in public because yeah. there's no dark side there. There's no like this is getting out of hand. Wait, what's the dark side dick. of sucking your own dick? <laughs> well, no, it's like a hack, a hack take. But it's like, oh, if I could suck my own dick, I'd never leave the house. I sure. wouldn't get anything done. All that shit. I could do anything while farting constantly. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could be working, and then you it would take a make my break. life only better. That's true. And, right. and people around well, you would enjoy it. No, the mechanism. The mechanism is cumbersome. You had to get on his back and suck the air in that way. That's awesome. Was yeah. this Steve O? You were talking about? Right? <laughs> yeah. He, I mean. Like, yeah. I'm Steve. Uh, like you made myself fart. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he sounds like now. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. He's, he's rough. Mm-hmm. Rough throat. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, any any stories that come to mind uh, from growing up in uh, Medford? And you didn't grow up in Medford. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I I had quite a bit. I was just kind of like a rambunctious uh, trouble. Were you a troubled kid? kid? Yeah. Trouble making kid. Yeah. Or yeah troubled? Both. Oh wow. Both. Because we moved around a bunch. Stuff was like, uh, not like excessively so but by some people's standards like fucky in the home sure a lot of movement a lot of chaos but and i was either a class clown or just like insane mm-hmm. in school i'm a high school dropout oh, wow. but hell yeah congratulations thank you it worked out did you get a ged <laughs> like, good enough well, yeah did you what, get a ged or did yeah you... i got a ged pretty oh, quickly cool. and then i did like nothing yeah well, i was like i just got it to get it make my parents happy but yeah yeah, yeah. 
That's what high school's like. But you were a trouble kid. You moved around a lot, a lot of, a lot of tum- yeah. tumult. A lot of like, a lot of people either thought I was like the funniest person they'd ever met. Uh huh. Or like, no, this gets horrible. Like you can't like <laughs> this gets insufferable to be around. Like it's always insanity. Like mm-hmm. there's no chill with yeah. this guy. And I remember this one time I was at Bar Mitzvah season was big in my neighborhood. Oh, fuck that hey. was like you, you got a lot of invites. It's like you really figured out how cool you were depending on how many invites you got. I got invited to some cool ones because some of my friends thought it was funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I like no one really wanted me there. And so I remember I was I was at this girl Sydney's bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah. Hey. And I I don't know what happened. I this might be the one this one bat mitzvah we went to, they hired like this like catering service and it was like teenagers serving alcohol. Because okay. it was just like just these broke kids. And they thought that these peach schnapps were like mixer. So oh. we were asking for peach schnapps and seltzer. Excellent. And they was working we're thirteen years old, literally getting slammed at a bar. Fuck. Yeah. Bar bat mitzvah. And like everyone's like, How is What's going on right now? So yeah. did did someone so someone they accidentally gave it as a mixer. It got around that they were giving them out as mixers, and then you started this kid. I I'll never forget this kid, Chumba, Chris Baez. Chumba, Chumba Wumba. Chumba, Chumba sounds like a down. fucking big fat kid. Okay. He got, he got knocked down. He got shit faced. Is what he got. <laughs> did, he get back, did he get back up again eventually? Yes, he okay. did. Hit me. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> and yeah, it was like me and like six of my boys, and we got like slammed at. A bot mitzvah, which is crazy. Yeah. And, and you're like, what, you're 13, mitzvah. 14? Legitimately 13 years old. Yeah, yeah. And we're like at some table. I remember like things were festive. Things were like loud. <laughs> things were happening. I ended up making up with, making out with this girl, Mackenzie Beatrice, oh, that I'd been like yeah. on and off with oh, for yeah. like 25 years. This girl. Like, you just peachy. <laughs> on, <laughs> literally, dude, <laughs> under the table, like at people's feet. Fuck we're like yeah. making out. Oh, shit. Then all I remember, uh, everything's quiet. Everything is quiet. And I'm looking around. I'm like. What's going on right now? And I was like, yo, turn the music back on. Like, let's get this party going. <laughs> Moment of silence for the recently deceased grandmother. Like, no. <laughs> like, stop this <laughs> shit. No. They were doing this like candle lighting ceremony <laughs> for like everyone in their immediate family path. Oh. It's like, this is for Gam Gam. Like, da da. Everyone, I'm like, yo, come on. <laughs> like, let's get it going. <laughs> let's shit. get it. Re- oh, dude. <laughs> <Yeah, literally. laughs> it was I, around that time. I just remember this kid, Aaron Grout. Like, he was sitting across from me. I just remember he was like, he was like this baby face kid. And he was just, <laughs> <laughs> he just starts like freaking out laughing. I'm still like, what? what? What is going on? I'm like, is this not a party? <laughs> Come yeah, on, nerds. can you hear me? Let's this fucking a celebration party. of life. Like, she's a for... woman now. She's a woman now. Yeah, I remember apologizing to her later, and she claimed that she didn't like remember that, or like yeah. that she didn't hear it. But there's no, it's way. not possible. It was a dead silence, and then a shit faced child going, <laughs> "Let's go." There's no That's way. Funny. When you were t- when you were saying that, I thought the grandmother had just died, and you didn't know that because you were underneath the table making out with this chick. <laughs> she was dead in the place. Like, she died there, and everyone was like, <gasps> "Yo, this like, party Yo! is the best. <laughs> Let's get some music." <laughs> you pick Gam Gam up and start dancing Weekend with her. Weekend at Bernie's. There. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, she wants the music. <laughs> I tip the DJ fifty cents. I'm like, "Yo, slow jams only." Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm about Me to get Gam Gam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, game games last dance. Yeah, that was that was rough. I remember stuff like that all the time. I remember, I remember before that this one time. One of the first crushes I can remember was I think her name was Bianca, and she was my co- cousin's Russian friend. The Russian Jewish community is tight yeah. in mm-hmm. the Northeast, and she had this friend Bianca. Who, in retrospect, I don't think she was that good looking, but hey. I just had a crush on her. That's sure. okay. And uh, she, it was me, my cousin Mila, and my cousin Mark, who his part of the family is in Florida. We were all together in Boston. We went in the Fenway area right by Park. And there was a place called Jillian's, which was one of those complexes where it's like bowling on this floor, all oh, okay. arcades on this floor, yeah, yeah. different kind of games on this floor. It was a whole thing. It was an institution. Complex. In yeah. And they closed it down, but it was awesome. And I remember I was playing, I was playing the air hockey thing. Oh, yeah. With the crush and i had to piss so bad oh no <laughs> but in my mind i'm like i'm bonding yes. with this older girl sure right now and i'm like i'm in there and i just like like fully and completely pissed my pants oh, at eight hey. years old oh, hey <laughs> how old were you again eight, eight or so eight wow. maybe nine too and, old did, did she know <laughs> it was like it was like once it started, it couldn't stop. Of course. So it's like one thing you're like laughing and then like you can cut off stream, it hurts or whatever. It was like 
there was no going back yeah. and it was a full relatively large piss in my pants <laughs> yeah. excellent because you had been like chugging pepsis the whole uh, time going nuts yeah yeah you were you're were showing off to your little showboat and check everything this out. i was i was like letting oh, it win and shit uh, i was <laughs> like well, i ain't no thing uh, hey you're really good <laughs> at this huh yeah but you're good at a lot of things and then and then we all everyone we were all together so we all had to like f we had to go get pants like oh, everybody oh, together, no. everybody together had to hey, go. Party's over. We gotta get Nathaniel some pants. Literally, <laughs> Jesus. Literally. <laughs> okay, okay, but all right. So why wasn't there any discretion? Wasn't why wasn't someone like trying to like shield? Just say, oh, we gotta go home real My quick. My dad wrapped a sweater around me. Okay, we, he did the sweater wrap. Nice. Like you had your period. Exactly. Literally, like I had flaked. <laughs> it kind of was your period. <laughs> My dad wraps the sweater. My cousin Mark. Cannot stop shitting on me. For this. Oh, like, well. Hey, uh, honestly, could you blame Mark? <laughs> no, not at all. I would have completely done it. And he's he's always been like the big brother yeah. to like to this day. Just busting balls. One of the closest people in my life. Oh. Fully, but it's a Northeast thing. Busting yeah, yeah. balls. Busting like, balls. Just a couple of Northeast guys mm. telling it how it is. You're pissing <laughs> stuff. What am I supposed to do? I got to bust his balls. Yeah. He won't know if I uh, care about him if I don't. And then so he's just <laughs> incessantly roasting me. I'm not enjoying it at all. Of course. We get to the gap. Then we get to the kids gap. Oh no. And I'm looking for stuff. And Mark goes, nah, this ain't you. In front of me, you're in the husky section. Oh, that's no, you. Because no. that's oh. what it's called. And he's literally going, husky. Jesus. Husky pissed his pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marky oh, piece of shit. Mark. <laughs> crazy. Mark. It's so crazy. I love him so much. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was And is Bianca no. there in Gap hearing this shit? Yeah, she's part yeah, of the yeah. Group. She's there everything for the whole thing. There's no it's where everyone is together. Is there any part of Bianca that's that's uh, that's turned on by this? <laughs> <laughs> is, she, is there any chance with Bianca after this? Yeah, she's like the way you peed your pants and then cried a lot. That was <laughs> yeah, amazing. Because I like that you're showing your emotions. You're not afraid. Right? Yeah, <laughs> like embrace your emotions. That's funny how I left that part out of the story till just now that I was yeah. crying. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> it makes it better. <laughs> it's a better story She's now. Crying my eyes <laughs> at Bianca too. She's like, and then and then in my head I was like. Oh, if not for this, I would have been swimming in ass. Absolutely. <laughs> Bianca would have been sitting on my face if I hadn't yeah, dude, pissed my pants. He's eight years old, just Woo. like, damn. Yeah, that was a fucking gnarly one. But And you uh, never thought you could just go to the bathroom. Because if I, okay, so I'm linked up with, B we're, I've You're been vibing. waiting for this yeah. combo. Me versus Bianca uh -huh. is what I want. Yeah, first All face night. to face, yeah. And whoever, my cousin's been... Cock blocking me all night. Jesus, you know, Mark. Is Mark still? Dude, you know what? I think Mark might have hooked up with Bianca. Mark? <laughs> Call oh in, Mark. God. Yeah. Mark hooked up with Bianca? I, I'm not sure if on this occasion, he definitely hooked up with more than one of this other cousin's friends. Sure. And I think Bianca was one of them. Now. Wow. Dude, can I be honest? Mark sounds like shit, dude. He sounds like a piece Mark sounds of sounds like shit. he gets it in, dude. He did. He was. Uh, uh, he he met a girl in college, and that was it. All the way settled down. Oh, a couple kids. Oh, wow. Okay. But he was a bit of a cocksmith before this. Oh, sure. Yeah. Cocksmith. Yes. Let me run it back. They get excited. Uh, so he taught me like kind of how to talk to chicks. Sure. And I think it was like junior senior year actually of high school when he met Jenna, and yeah, no. she's the best. Hey. And she's an amazing lady, an amazing mom. But uh, I remember in college this is funny it bleeds perfectly into the story he went to ucf which is a huge party school mm -hmm. at one point they're on like that playboy list of like the yeah. biggest party schools that's sure. where like they first profiled bert kreischer oh, right, right. like yeah, yeah. so Central this was, florida he yeah and he was the treasurer of like the party frat it was hey. like crazy and i'd been starting to booze i'm like 14 15 i go to visit him mm. and i'm like i've been partying like, try, like, buddy, I'm on my way to being like a full fledged drug addict. Like, I'm, I'm here. I get down, and he's like, "No, I understand, but like, this is like college party school drinking. It's a different thing." And he's like, "No, it's, I'm like, no, it's not." Like, yeah. buddy, and, and he had invited everyone over. It was like ripping. There was like girls, and he was like, "I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna introduce you to girls. Like, I'm gonna tell them that you're older. I'm gonna." We had a thing that we were, I was going to pretend to be like, because I spoke Russian, so did he. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. like, you just pretend to speak Russian. You're going to be like sure. my exchange cousin. Uh -huh. Exchange cousin. Yeah, yeah. I exchange him with a different cousin. Yeah. <laughs> the whole We had this whole plan. I think they had a hot tub where they lived and shit. He was like, wow. he was like I'm going to hook you up tonight. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
I think I blacked out in like 45 <laughs> minutes. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you it's, fucked it up, dude. Yeah, well, I mean, because we were like fun, drinking, mixing it up. And then they're, I mean, it's cold. They're like doing shots of 151. Yeah. You know what oh, I mean? Like they were, your body's not ready at 14. No. And they were just getting after it. So yeah. I black out pretty quickly. And I wake up the next day and he's like, hey, like, it's time to start cleaning. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you made a mess. It's like, you, you puke like all over the place. Wow. And I'm like, nah, I don't think that was me. And he's like, he deduced by the Chinese food we had gotten for takeout. <laughs> that was the only person who, wow. like, who wants this? I, who wants this when they're shit-faced? I asked for shrimp fried rice. <laughs> Why did you throw up, dude? dude <laughs> Why did you throw up, Nat? You know that classic fucking <laughs> drunk food Nat, shrimp? why did you throw up? I can't believe it's what I went for. Midnight and that's, shrimp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From some, some obviously, like, butt central Florida, yeah. like, takeout spot. And like, it's at night. No dining. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. It's a hole in the wall. So that's how they figured it out. And I remember there's puke on the walls next to where I'm laying through. There's puke some other place. And then I go into his closet where the cleaning supplies are. And I pull it out, and he's got a poker table in there, like a nice velvet custom-made poker table covered in puke. Oh. I thought the, I assume, I had thought that the closet was a restroom. Yeah. And so I just puked in there as well. Like, I opened the door to puke in there. Yeah. yeah. As if, like, that's what you do when you walk into a restroom to puke. You just open the door and just puke. Yeah. Just well, I'm being puking. cordial. Yeah. yeah. At least you're, I'm not puking on the carpet. I know there's tile in here. Yeah, I'm respecting the business. Yeah. <laughs> like, there might be a toilet next to this door. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I felt bad about that one, too. Yeah. So most of, like, the debauchery, like, because I was just, like, always getting after it. So it's mostly around... Drinking and shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I started drinking when I was like, probably 14 or 15. Mm. And it, look, like, the first time I ever got drunk was at this party. There was a lot of people there. Like, two hot chicks are making out. I'm, like, the youngest. I'm, like, 14, 15. Everyone else is, like, 17, 18 or whatever. And it was just, like, this quintessential, like, mm -hmm. uh, cool party where, like, mm -hmm. cool stuff's happening. Girls are kissing, dude. I'd never seen that in real life. Yeah, and it sinful. never got better than that because, like, I just, like, yeah. most of the time I just, <laughs> I ended up you just drinking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, and I just never went to, like, par parties after that. And I would drink by myself. And it was just, just, like, drinking a 30 rack on your own. Like, all right. When are the girls going to show up yeah. and start making out? Yeah. <laughs> this isn't how I remembered it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I started drinking early and then I didn't I didn't last too long. You you dr you drank how old are you? I'm 31. 31. Okay. So you so you got sober like uh four, like 5 6 years ago? 6 years, yeah. Six yeah. years I stopped ago. at 25. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't make it that long. I went to like 22 and had to go to rehab. Well, cuz I went through all the drugs. So oh, yeah. I by by 25, it's like crazy. What so, what did you end on? H Hell yeah. That's my thing. Yeah, yeah. That's my. You I'm glad I found it. You I'm glad I never it, yeah. found it because that's what have been. That would have been my thing. I don't like. Uh, I like. I like downers, baby. Yeah, for sure. You would have. I loved and everyone, it. Everyone's you like, would have loved it. Everyone's like, is it that good? I'm like, yes. You're an what? idiot. Like, You're an idiot. <laughs> it's literally like formulaically designed to be the best number one thing. Yeah. yeah. That's then, why you can't do it's it. It's liquid good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and I go I go to like I go to like various programs. People are like, yeah, really I was a meth guy. I'm like, you're, you're an idiot. You're like, a fucking <laughs> you're no crazy. taste, no class. <laughs> nah, get out of here. <laughs> you like feeling your heart beat too much. Uh, yeah, dude. I Listen, like it. I like, I like crank as much as the next guy, but it's not <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, But get, that ain't it. Look, no. don't get that started on crank. He'll fucking talk your yeah. off about crank. I seen that movie. <laughs> it's so good. Jason, Jason Statham. <laughs> Jason Statham. <laughs> yeah, it's uh that that was what I ended up on. That it was, and also like people are like, people ask me, they're like, do you ever think about a drink? I don't think about drinking or drugs ever. It's been years yeah. and years mm -hmm. since it sounded even remotely like a good idea. It's just like so firmly ingrained in me through like all the work that I do. Yeah, but that's not an option. But I always tell them, I was like, if I relapse, I'm not like toking a J with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, y yeah, I'm not like, yo, I'll twist up. Or like, yeah, you know what? Pour me one. No one will see me. No, no, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, gone. It's, no one will know these moves. It's going to be in complete silence. It's going to be completely alone. It's going to be me and my stuff. You'll find me. But I'm going to be around. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. I, mine's similar, except I was too afraid to do dr that many drugs. I was mostly like Xanax and drinking whiskey, mm. that sort of thing. Uh, but I was afraid to do drugs, like hard drugs. But now that like I went to rehab, I went to the programs and stuff. And uh, now, though, if I relapse, I know so much and I'm not as scared of them mm -hmm. anymore. Or I know what to expect. If I relapse, dude, I got a fucking list and it's not going to be pretty. So <laughs> I shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. <a> laundry list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Totally, um, dude. Yeah, you would have loved it all. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> it's probably good. How about Fenny? You didn't like Oh, that, fuck, dude. Cheap. 
Yeah, that's mo- that's pretty much what it was by yeah. the end of my running. Oh, I it was see. like that's what it was. You're you're saying let me get this, but it's got pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Damn. I like psychedelics. Mm-hmm. I never did them. I was scared of that. That's one thing that I do regret that I didn't do like mushrooms and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. I can't say that you shouldn't have. Uh, you should have. I remember this one time. I was at a. It was. I felt very cool because this was. You know, disclosure. The band. Mm. Oh, I think so. They do like. They do like. Um, now they're like kind of pompy, pompy as well. But they do like kind of garage house from the UK. Okay. And they were like a big deal in the electronic dance community before they kind of blew up and became very large that's sam smith that singer okay. he blew up by featuring on one of their songs oh, really? that's it was his introduction that now i want you in my space latch that's a good one but before that even came out they did a concert at the center stage in central park and it was like so cool i like got an email invite to it i felt like such a cool guy Shit. are you a cool guy i was kind of cool yeah, for a second man. <laughs> and i was like selling molly there i felt Fuck. awesome we're really, really high on acid. And there's a point in the trip, it starts to turn a little bit. I'm getting a little bit paranoid. Not like actually, but I can start to see the signs. I'm like, eh, this is going downhill for me. This is a Molly? Bit. You're on Molly? No, acid. Acid, oh, acid, yeah, sorry. acid. I think I was probably doing some other shit too. But I'm on acid. And I remember this was, I was pretty good at taking psychedelics. I would take lots of them, high doses. We'd make fun of people who'd get too fucked up. Sure. We'd have a good time. I'm in the crowd. I'm starting to feel a little bit of like this larger anxiety strange things are happening that I know are just being perceived. And I'm like, I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm going to get out of this pit. So I'm leaving the pit of people. I'm walking out. The stage has like these bleachers up here that I'm about to go sit on. And I'm kind of like, like their beginning stage is like hyperventilating a little Mm -hmm. bit. I'm like, can you please, I'm just trying to get out. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Getting past people. This one guy won't move. He like won't move. And I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to get out. I'm sorry to be in your way. Like I'm not trying to bother you. Like, please, I'm just trying to get, I'm kind of like, I'm just kind of freaking out a little bit. Can you be like, and some other guy goes, hey, dude, and, like, points at the guy, and it was a recycling bin. Oh. <laughs> that guy was a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. And I, was, I was like, hey, dude. And it, like, and it, like, hits me, and I was like, I just, I tell this guy, I go, oh, no, like, I'm that guy. Like, oh, I'm, no. I'm this guy I shit on, and this guy... Was hip, so he was like, mm, "Yeah, yeah, yeah you are." He was <laughs> shitting on really you. He was, like, he was like, "Yeah, you're the bitch right now." <laughs> I was like, "I was like, oh," because that's what was like bothered me so much. I was like, "This is literally the guy that I was like, ha ha, uh-huh. all the time." Man. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what made you go sober. Yeah. <laughs> was your it was too much. Too hard. Too much. <laughs> I'll never forget. I was like, "Oh no!" And this guy was just like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like bummer, oh, dude. Fuck, this dude. Sucks. <laughs> like, yeah, and then I just went and I just breathed. <laughs> I was right. like, hey, oh, yeah, you're right. It is recycling. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I just like took wait the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> no, he turned into one. What are you talking? About? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you thought it was some guy like trying to pick a fight with you, dude. <laughs> I was like, why won't you move? Yeah, dude. Dude. <laughs> and he's like, buddy, buddy, I'm an inanimate object. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't care what you are. Can you just please get out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> I, I see the big yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm way too high like, for this dude. Just please fucking move. Nathaniel, t- you're too high. <laughs> Maybe you should sit I down. Nathan- All the trash cans come. Maybe you should sit down, Nathaniel. You have your fucking Disney princess moment, but it's just trash cans. <laughs> Instead of like <laughs> animals and shit. <laughs> They're singing to me and shit. <laughs> They're singing to you, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got too high at the fish show again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't do acid. Although, apparently it's fun. good sometimes. Uh, it's mostly rad. It's mostly good, yeah. yeah. I would. I just wouldn't want to risk a, a recycling bin moment like that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just your ego that gets hurt, and that gets killed anyway when you get fucking high. Great take. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> See what else I had here, dude. Um, Jewish fetish. I, put, I wrote down Jewish fetishization. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> what was your take on Jewish fetishization? I'm a bit more oh, curious about oh, that. Oh, no, that's what I was talking about when yeah. I was just like, when I would go on a date with a Jewish girl, I would just be like, I'd be like, I love Jews. And uh, she would just be like, okay. Sometimes I'd be mm-hmm. like, kind of, why are you even bringing this up? I would be stoked on it if, if, if a lady said it to me. I actually do a joke. Now, I'm not, not to reference my bit completely, but I do a joke about how. I, amongst the many di- different things I like, I like trans women. Yeah. And one of the jokes is, is that nobody believes that I do, 
even trans women. Like I matched with a trans girl <laughs> on a dating yeah. app in her profile. It said, I am not your fetish. And I was like, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, Say it all sorry. you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also like accept it. Like if I went on a date with a girl and she's like, I like Jewish guys. I wouldn't be like, I am not your fetish. I'd be like, oh, well, well, well. <laughs> I guess Nathan's getting laid. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could split the bill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Like, oh, just lean into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course. <laughs> I'm greedy for pussy. Yeah, you'll be pleased to learn that my penis is small. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like oh, yeah, she goes, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah, loves that shit. You've yeah. heard about it. Yeah, so yeah. We, we show you about we it. We could go to the beach tomorrow. It's going to be nice out, unless you prefer rain. But, like, <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah. yeah, I'd lean into it. I think it's a great, it's whatever. I appreciate so many things about so many different cultures. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that whatever. We also hit the jackpot on, pardon me, on stereotypes. Like, yeah, we have the good ones. Literally, like outside a little peepee. Some people say big peepee. I don't know where they heard that. What from. the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, other than that, it's like essentially like an emphasis on education, yeah. fiscal success, and yeah. like family values. I'm like, yeah, you got me. And yeah, and munch it on yummy sandwiches. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, Get come on, dude. <laughs> a damn sandwich. The one that is not discussed enough that is a true negative stereotype is that we're sickly. Oh. We're very sickly. We're prone to oh, okay. all kinds of stuff, be it sure. gastro, we have weaker immune systems, and then they give us the mega brain in return. Okay. That's why. I see. You know, I, mean, I, I said that. Uh, that's I'd, why you see these Swedes. They're all tall, jacked, dumb as dirt. Dumb yeah. as hell, dude. Yeah. But sexy as fuck, though. Thick, dude. Those thick dumb asses. Too. Big. Big. Massive. Yeah. Just insane. So a guy, the Alexander... Scars Scars guard? Guard? Is he a dumbass? No, two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about Nat is his dick is in his big brain. That's true. Right. <laughs> it went into his body <laughs> and up to his brain. Yeah, yeah. If you could, would you pull some of that brain out? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, make me an idiot. Yeah. This one guy, I have a different angle on the, like, I have jokes about Greek statues, but this guy, Nick something, has this, like, really funny thing about how like and i hit it from a different angle about the, the greek statues having the uh, demure penises yeah, yeah 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 it was like and but that represented like intellect it sure. was like well then sculpt me like a fucking retard thank you Wait, what's his name what's what's nick's name so the, uh, man oh, i sorry. just yeah. found this i think it's nick simmons oh, okay is that nick, someone you know is no 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 saw? it's a it's a it's a new york guy is it nick simmons i wish i could <laughs> Come on time. Anyway, yeah. Very uh, funny. Speaking of stand up, though, you haven't been doing it that long, huh? How long have you been doing it? For like two and a half years. Oh, That's wow. crazy, dude. Yeah. You you've got like, okay, like I thought you were probably if I would have guessed, it would have been like ten years or something. Thanks, man. You just but you you've just been working super hard, I guess, huh? Yeah, I th I think I knew I had a natural proclivity when I got started. Like yeah. my first mic, I was like, oh, I'm funnier than like eighty percent of the people here. Yeah, I wasn't funny. You know what I mean? But like I just looked at the data, and I was like something has led me to be ahead of the pack here yeah. so it's it was literally just like a, I, I looked at the numbers and i was like there's value in investing time and energy into this right and what happened was i got Investment laid off strategies <laughs> truly there's like a, the value proposition was large absolutely and so, sorry, that, that's it and so <laughs> i'm a businessman <laughs> I'm, I'm a business, a business man <laughs> and uh uh, this this is a great podcast, right? You oh, guys got something oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It. All in with You're great. Pr producer. You guys, you guys. Like, There's so much love going around. What the hell? <laughs> but uh but uh so I got laid off during like essentially in the beginning of the pandemic. Kobe's? I was first in, first out. We, oh, we yeah. And uh or last in, first out. And it, it was almost from a stubborn perspective where as soon as it happened, I'm like, whatever I do next, I'm gonna like it. It just hit like this. It was almost like oh, you're saying I I'm I'm not gonna do it unless I like it. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Anything I do next, I'm gonna like it. As okay. soon as I got laid off, it was like a, it was like this gnawing thought that was almost like incepted. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know where it came from. It was like this, and so I was like, what do I like? I like stand up. I had done maybe four open mics over the course of like three years before that, with no intention of doing stand up. Dabbled. Yeah, just to see, see what it feels like to be on stage, if anything else. But I'd always loved, loved stand up. Yeah. I was a big, like, Norm guy. Of course, Louis. Hey, hey, look, Louis. is this a fucking just a Norm suck fest show? Uh, yeah, I love Norm. Yeah, yeah Norm's love like, Norm. and Louis. Yeah, the... That's my, like, not guilty, guilty pleasure. Absolutely. Like, I just can't get yeah. enough. It's like junk food yeah. to me, but yeah. really healthy. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I mean, rest in peace. A band, dude. But. I re dude, I remember comics like pouring forties out when when Norm mm -hmm. passed. I remember Munford like crying at the creek. It was it was like a beautiful and sad thing. But mm -hmm. um, 
so I was like, I'm gonna do it. And then this did you ever meet a guy out here, Mason Smith? Uh, I know who he is. Yeah, yeah I yeah. met him. Yeah, sweet guy, old friend of mine. I've known him for a decade. He's from he's from Arkansas. But, but he he's moved a, to Boston. Yeah, and, okay. I, and I I knew him. Like I helped him move to Boston. But um, he was like, Hey, dude, I know you'd been like kind of toying around with the idea of like maybe actually trying stand up. Everything shut down in Boston, but our buddy Dave Caggiano is doing like an outlaw mic. It was like illegal to gather. Essentially, I don't think you could like ever. I don't think it would like you'd be able to be tried in court. Yeah, but no, like you weren't supposed to. Yeah, it's frowned upon. Yeah, it was, it was a strange. It was a lot of quasi gray laws going on during yeah, COVID yeah. stuff. But you guys know all about that. Oh, yeah. fuck, yeah. the gray, are you talking about the gray laws? We talk about them all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I go. I get put on this like book mic, and I wrote five minutes like literally two days before. I just wow. write them. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're all like weed jokes, really? but yeah. yeah, two of them not bad. Oh. But uh, <laughs> and I do it, and it was like, and I like kind of smashed partially because they were the jokes were all right partially because these kids didn't know me and i was like just juiced up about it and it it was like i got the bug right then yeah and it was like it, you you would have thought it was crazy because i was like oh yeah this is what i'm doing we'd already been thinking about moving because like boston was so locked down mm-hmm. we're kind of mm-hmm. so, it was really sad to see the way people were you'd see people like screaming at each other on the streets absolutely outside yeah. Yeah. for not you know, masking up or this and that. And it was like, whatever, I don't care how you feel about yeah. it. It's like, no reason. Like, this guy's not going to change his mind whether you scream at it or not. So don't scream. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my take. We were thinking about getting out of town anyway. Um, and it was either like Miami, because we have some family in South Florida. Miami. And then Miami, like, says. we listened to Rogan and we were <laughs> yeah. like, oh, maybe Austin. Maybe Austin's the yeah. place. Yeah. So three months after I start comedy, I visited here. Everyone was nice. Level of comedy was relatively high. It's much, much higher now. Right. And uh, and I was like, oh, there's like a good budding community and there's people who care about comedy and are like how what, they're they're just more interested in like being out doing comedy than not. Right. Yeah. Which is not what I was experiencing in Boston. I kind of started like outgrowing the open micers there pretty immediately. Mm-hmm. And even the people that were objectively better than me. um it didn't feel as though the gap was that large. Yeah. And so I was like, there's truly nothing for me here. How yeah. long did, were you doing open mics in Boston then? Three months from then I moved. Wow. And then I visited here and then three months later I moved. It's crazy because like most of the people that move here, I think that have been doing it for three months, definitely not as funny as you are. So it's like, it's great. Like most of them are like, <laughs> well, I just started and I'm like. So there are people who haven't started and then they move here. Right. I guess you can and start And then they here. go, I'm a comic. Not a? No, that they'll be like, I just moved here. I've been here for two weeks. I started comedy here, and they go, "I'm a comic." It's yeah. like uh, you haven't experienced I guess the heartbreak yeah. necessary. To like, <laughs> well, they'll get there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> or they won't. Or they'll quit. Yeah, they'll quit. Um, Again, failure is not a prerequisite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they could just be successful yeah. from yeah. the drop and never have to learn a lesson. Actually, the first time I fucking truly, like, by definition, bombed was on my visit here. Yeah. When yeah. I was three months into comedy, I do Spencer show, Barrels and Amps. Now one of my best friend. Had never met him before. Sent him a tape. The tape was fine. Books me on the show. I try to riff up top. This is the riff. This is, it's, <laughs> it's one of the worst things I've ever said out loud. <laughs> so it's up in Georgetown. Relatively like conservative party, conservative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then like a rowdy crowd. Yeah. It's a, what it is, is a, a high quality, but it's a bar show. The place is called Barrels and Amps. And I go, Georgetown, Barrels and Amps, real original. Oh, I like booze and music. And I go, and I go, in my head, I'm like, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I proceeded to crickets bomb for eight minutes. And even the ones I was like, ah, this will turn them. I, mm. This has only worked before. Yeah. And it was If like, I were in the audience, I would have just been like, uh, why is he mean? <laughs> why? I don't know. <laughs> what is he? Lit- I don't. That was, that was <laughs> it of like, that's such a thing that people we'll figure out eventually but it's so easy to think that what's going on in here will be picked up out here yeah or the reason mm-hmm. that you mm-hmm. find it funny in your head will be they'll know what the reason i mean right. context they'll, they'll and all put that. that together it's like no you, you they you have to love them before they love you you have to treat them yeah like family you know what i mean at least like, I do. I think there's some people that are just like hate the audience and they're still funny. But I think for most people, you're right. So that's so that's true on the first couple layers. Yeah. But underneath, the love is still there because it's I like the so. Don Rickles effect. Oh, they yeah. were serious when they meant Mr. Warmth. 
You know what I mean? Because yeah. he'd say these brutal things, but it always kind of felt like your uncle. Yeah, I love. You that know voice. what I mean? And he'd say these crazy things. So even like, yeah, to, if the crowd's really tight, there's ways to like call it out or come back, and you can win a crowd like that by being like referential, of course. But like for the most part, even if your thing is to be brazen or mean or ballsy, like there has to be an underlying. You have to know that you're there to entertain them. Yeah, that's true. And I think uh, there's a lot of comics that are like going for the opposite. Yeah, that like, are fuck su- you. That are sucking <laughs> balls right now. Why? But, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah maybe if they enjoyed like the experience more. <laughs> yeah, I I heard uh, Joey Diaz say uh, everything Pop changes. Suckers. Yeah, Sorry. he's like, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> everything changes when you recognize that uh, you are here for them mm-hmm. and not the other way around. I think I'm still realizing that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a little like I I don't I don't know how much I enjoy it. I mean. Uh, <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know if I enjoy it because like I'll do like I did a show at uh, uh, Draft House the uh-huh. uh, the the brunch like, yeah, last yeah. week and I had a great set and it yeah. was very fun. Great. Uh, if it's less than great, I fucking hate stand up comedy. <laughs> so it's like I don't know. I'm still working that out. Listen, I, we're I, the most like sensitive, malleable people on the planet. Yeah, for sure. There's no doubt about that. If you we as in stand ups or Jews? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, buddy, one and the same. But, so, so, uh, you, if you can take that feeling, recognizing it as fleeting, and the underlying truth is like the the prior that it's like all love, and that's what you're going for. Yeah, there are bad crowds. Right, that is real. You should always aim to turn a bad crowd, but it is me though. I I, I recognize right. that. I'm so the what problem. I mean is like if you're able to just like I have plenty of sets where I'm like I'm not sure they like me and I'm. I want to say I don't like them, but really I just want them to like me. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's all it is. And I if it's I can better like, to say that than yeah. to say fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you can like... Admit it. Yeah, if you can recognize that mm-hmm. and like almost like philosophically look, it's like when I when I come back and I think about why I said didn't go my way, like my standards have changed so much. So I could come off stage and someone would go, that's great. And I'm like, really? I never felt connected with them. Yeah, that was yeah. the big punchlines got big pops. They liked my jokes and shit, but I never really felt like we were all in the same room. Mm-hmm. Maybe they did, but I didn't feel that way. Because yeah. that's really my definition. Yeah. I'm really, really oh, having yeah. fun. It's yeah. like I feel like we're, we're all having a party together. Yeah. And um, Kind of like right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everyone's in the moment. Oh, yeah. um, dummy time. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I didn't feel that way, that's where, that's where I become. But so it's just, I guess what I'm meaning, meaning to say is like I'm glad when I entertain anybody. I'm, I'm super, super grateful for like every fan i've ever met but like what i'm really trying to do is like be in it with everybody like no matter what that's like always the goal you know what i mean that's good that's that, that's definitely the way to approach it yeah, so that's, yeah. that's harder to it's like some... a lot of people would go on stage and think okay without me these people wouldn't be here they're here for me yeah right but i mean like it's the opposite right, right. Without especially if you're not famous yeah. especially if yeah. you're not like Chappelle. like but even if don't you know were, right you even if Chappelle was super famous right if with, if there was no fan interaction right. if there's no people going to see him as a thing he doesn't exist in it, that it's context. also like on top of that it's also like when i think about how much i value my time mm-hmm. and how like precious that yeah, is to absolutely. me yeah it's real it can be very challenging to in the moment bring that up real time uh-huh even if you're watching one of your buddies who you know or think is funny and they're having a tough time with the crowd and you want to be like, they they don't know what good comedy is or whatever, maybe there's some truth to that. Yeah, but it doesn't but really matter. It doesn't matter. Because they're like, I'm like, dude, this guy's like fucking hanging cable. You know what right. I mean? Like this but dude, not laying pipe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Mom, bro. Yeah, man. There's no way this guy gets pussy. No, Get dude, he's laying cable yeah. that's soft dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's soft dick in the crowd, man. That's great. That's in the mighty bush. Ooh, it's coming out of me like yellow cable. But uh, <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> what's it? Um, yeah, but it's like I, I try to think about that. I try to remember that before I go on stage. So it's just like little mantras and shit that I think about. It's like everyone's they paid money to de-stress and have a mm-hmm. good time and like da, da 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 so whether or not they understand my vision or art or point like that's on me yeah. you know what i mean it's maybe nice i'll enjoy maybe i'll enjoy stand up as a whole one day we'll see i think you will ever. <laughs> <laughs> even if you struggle. like have a super uh, tons of validation you'll be like 
over it immediately. Maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We're it's fickle, like, man. Yeah. We're fickle. Mm. I don't know. Um, anyway, well, what? let's see if I have anything else. We might be wrapping up here. Uh, deadhead, we talked about you being a fucking deadhead, dude. Mm. All that shit. Yeah. Dave Matthews. Dave Matthews, yeah. <laughs> into me, yeah. uh, and then he just goes, and then I come into you. And then yeah. I come. He just says, "I scream." Yeah, I got that skirt. Yeah, I got that skirt a little more. It's all this like it's also crazy how many times I've sang that song before I was like conscious. Wait, and I was like, hold on. Well, it's fine. What's you this know? about? What's this about? <laughs> Wait, also, Dave Matthews comes in women. <laughs> I also like never. I was always deathly afraid, so I like I've maybe come in two ah, vaginas ever in my wow. life. Wow, yeah, I've I been mean, a little reckless true. in my life. <laughs> he, throws, <laughs> he throws caution to the wind. Yeah, you know I gotta work on some things. Have you ever paid for an abortion? Uh, I haven't paid for one. <laughs> <laughs> He's been a party too. Uh, is there anywhere uh, they can find you there, uh, Nat? Yeah, it's nat.comedian is my Instagram. That's kind of where I navigate everything out of. I'll be on some other shit soon. Slam Time Live Slam is Time my Live. podcast with Spencer Cavins, which is available on all. Uh, Everywhere you get your podcast. That's right. Uh, do you have any shows coming up? This will come out on Monday. Next, I'm sorry. Monday. Next Monday. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'm, I'm sure you'll you post the, about them on the uh, this the this coming Monday or the no, following 15th Monday after that. Fifteenth, I think. That next that next week, I'm doing some can't even shows. That Friday, secret level comedy at Alamo Draft House. It's every other Friday, and we'll be having two shows: one at seven thirty, one at nine thirty, and that's um and different lineups if you want to hit both. And Is that's it Friday. It's Friday night. Friday the eighteenth will be that, nice. and then um. I'm all over the place. Yeah, check you can the check Instagram. It out on the Instagram, yeah. Get about Where I'm can they ground. find our ass? We're also on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on all the social medias. Tummy Time TV is our handle. Uh, we have a website, tummytime.tv. Find us on Truth Social. Patreon. Yeah, find us on Truth Social, please. Yeah. For God's mm -hmm. sake, we don't have any followers we, in there. Mm -hmm. I think Donald Trump followed us. Oh, I think it just comes with it. <laughs> oh, I yeah. think it's just a fault. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. Tom. He's it's, like Tom. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I think we've talked. I think we've made that joke. Oh before. yeah, but it kills me every time. <laughs> That's great. And speaking of time, we'll see you next tummy time. Bye bye. <laughs>